Coast Guard from Hampton Roads was man-made, but nature rules. What once was a borrow pit is now a glistening lake surrounded by woods, wetlands, and wildlife, all for the public to enjoy, and it's free. Sandy Bottom Nature Park is this week's postcard from Hampton Roads. Beautiful lakes, 12 miles of trails, camping, fishing, a wildlife center, and it's all part of a city park in Hampton. We're at Sandy Bottom Nature Preserve. I want to introduce you now to Chief Ranger Arthur Mertz. It's a beautiful place. Well, it's not you. what you normally would think of when you think of a city no, park. No, we're located in the uh, middle of the city of Hampton, and it's like you mentioned, it's an excellent place. Uh, whether to bring your kids or just come out for a stroll, uh, we do offer boating, uh, we offer paddle boats canoes and john boats for fishing it's fully stocked we also offer camping as you mentioned we have primitive camping where you bring your own tents mm -hmm. and we also have yurts which are like a mongolian style tent that are on place they sleep six people and you can rent those out mm -hmm. uh, we do have 12 miles of trails a lot of these trails are for both biking and hiking uh, some are just inclusive for hiking we also allow people to bring uh, horses on our equestrian trail that we do have here we also have the Nature Center. It has about 12 different species of uh, snakes on display, plus other wildlife. Uh, we offer people to come into this at free of cost. Mm -hmm. And we educate the people on wildlife conservation and the animals that they can be found around the yard or in the local area, mm -hmm. local region. This lake was mined back in the 50s for the sand, and that's where we get the name Sandy Bottom. And how we tie all this in is that it was a natural area. They, uh, they mined the sand and kind of destroyed it and everything. But the city came in and started preserving it. We had to find something that we wanted to do. And the interaction with the, the wildlife and the public is great because we do have areas that the people cannot go into, a wildlife core area and a wildlife management area. And these areas are set aside just for the animals so that if an animal, if you are hiking on a trail or something, these animals do have a sense that they know that they can go into these areas and that there's going to be very limited mm -hmm. human contact in that area. Mm -hmm. You will see numerous types of wildlife out here, winterfowl to deer, foxes, raccoons. Um, we are 456 acres, so we do have a, wildlife, a lot of wildlife that we do mingle with here mm -hmm. and share the property with. What do you like best about your job? Every day is something different. Uh, I think the, the most wonderful thing about my job is just interacting with the young children and sharing my knowledge that I have about wildlife. Uh, I've, I've been around the world, I'm a mil military brat, and I've always been outdoors, whether it was at the beach or in the woods or whatever, and I just love to come out and share those experiences and help educate the public, particularly children, on how important wildlife is and that we do preserve areas like this for education and just to get away from the hustle and bustle and be able to relax. All right. So it sounds like whether somebody uh, has young children or maybe you're just young at heart, if you're looking for an adventure without having to go too far, check out the Sandy Bottom Nature Preserve in Hampton and tell them the Hampton Roadshow sent you. Another great postcards and get this, if you're looking for a great opportunity to check out this hidden gem coming up on Saturday, April 7th, it is the annual Easter egg extravaganza oh. a great event for the entire family easter egg hunts children's crafts storytelling prizes and the easter bunny's going to be there it's from 10 a.m to 3 p.m for more information give them a call 825-4657